Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my Scarecrow Zombie Tutorial. So first off, you're gonna start by getting your black boost paint and you're gonna wanna just darken the area where you're gonna put the teared up mouth over your face because you wanna darken that area to give it some depth. Next up, we're gonna grab our Faithful Liquid Latex and maybe an adult because I could not open this to save my life even though I am an adult myself. You're then going to start to use that liquid latex to outline the area that you had darkened on your face for your mouth. And you're also going to want to get some cotton ready for the next step because we are going to be using that to make the little torn up mouth and to give the mouth some dimension. You're going to take that cotton that you have and tear them into tiny string like pieces. Then you're going to use liquid latex to attach them to your face. A helpful tip for this look is to keep your mouth open when you're applying the cotton and liquid latex to ensure that you can still talk while wearing this look. You're then going to take a brush with some liquid latex on it to go over all the cotton that you just put down to make sure the cotton is all smoothed over and that you can easily paint or put makeup over it. You're now gonna take a dark powder and start to pat it in to the look. I like doing this when the liquid latex is still a little bit tacky just because it, it then helps speed up the drying process. I then decided I wanted to give myself a look that made it look like my eyes were being torn down or that they are torn right by my eyes, so I then ended up taking some cotton and some liquid latex and making a V-shape underneath my eyeballs. I'm now taking a black face paint and filling in the, the skin area that's inside the cut to give it some depth. I'm now taking a cotton pad and gently wiping away some of the black face paint so that way the blood will show up easier and it'll also give the cut more dimension. I'm now just doing a basic eyeshadow look to give my skeleton some glam to its horror. I'm just using a sparkly golden yellow shimmer on my eyelids and I am uh, going in the crease and along the outsides with a brown. Now for one of my favorite parts, your brows! And remember, they're sisters, not twins, so if they don't look identical, it's completely fine because you don't want them to look exactly alike. Now for my second favorite part, the blood. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill in all of the darkened spaces with blood and you can pull it up if you like, use as little or as much as you'd like, and also remember to put them along the the cuts so that way it can give them more dimension and actually look like 
the blood is coming from the cuts. And I end up putting an excess pool in the eyes, that way it dripped down and made it look like I was crying blood. I then end up taking some of the fake blood and putting it on my hands and gently patting it onto my face to give my face more of a bloody, worn down look. And that's it for this look today guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it and try to recreate this look and have a very spoopy Halloween everyone. Also I can never take myself seriously whenever I do any horror looks, as you can tell by the end. <laughs>